There we go. Third cast, three pounder. Nice, beautiful fish. Right, I'm back from fishing. I've got myself a 46 centimeter bass. Look at that lovely thing. Okay, I'm going to show you how to prepare it for eating. I'm going to fillet it. Okay, first of all, we're going to gut it. Okay, so get a nice sharp knife into the anal slit there. Cut it down to where the bones are. Okay. Whip out the guts and the offal and all that. Yeah. And with bass, this is the same as any fish, but with bass, the stomach is actually quite firm in there, so you'll need to cut it. Right. That's step one. Now, if you want to eat it whole, do that because you've then got that. That area there, you can stuff that full of herbs or anything like that to give it some flavour. All right, let's make sure we get everything out. There's a bit more stuff in there, a bit more gunk. Right now, how to save your hands? Get some decent quality scissors, you're going to cut off all the fins. Okay, pectoral fin, and that bottom fin, I can't remember what it's called, the anal fin. Quite strong, especially the front one. Okay, and then the two dorsal fins. The reason for this is when you're descaling it, there's a good chance of doing what I do now and again and get one of those into your fingers. It hurts, all right? It hurts a couple of days as well. Okay, so you don't want to be doing that, just take them off. There we go, so that's defined, all right? Now the next thing you're gonna do is descale it. So with all the fins off, we're ready to descale it. You can do it outside, or you can do it inside. If you do it inside, do it in the sink, because scales ping everywhere, so submerge it, all right? Get yourself a descaler. This is brilliant, okay? See these little teeth there? They run across and they whip all the scales off. You can do something similar with bottle tops, yeah? Just Get a bit of wood, nail them on or screw them in and use that. That's really effective. I've got a, a knife that's got sort of like very thick serrations. I can use that. But this is my preferred tool. You can find them on Amazon. Not expensive. Get it underwater and just run tail to head direction and all your scales will come off. It's not a difficult job, it doesn't take long, but it's nothing worse than having scales in your mouth when you're having a nice bit of bass for dinner. So look, it's all done, okay? As opposed to that hard exterior. And that is your first stage. So my bass is gutted. And it's descaled. Okay, so what we're going to do just cut through this, the flesh to the bone or the tail. Okay, here you can see where your hard bit of the skull goes into the flesh. So we're going to cut diagonally there, going to come round behind the pectoral fin. Okay, and then down to where we've cut it here, where the dorsals were. Sorry, not the dorsals, the bottom fins. Okay, that's your first stage. Now, along here, from where we've gutted, down towards the tail, we're going to cut down there at an angle to the bone. Okay, we're going to turn the fish around. And we're going to go the same here. We're going to make see where the, the the fins are there. Okay, we're going to come just inside of those. Okay, so just make your your cut right way along. It may look like I'm using a blunt knife. I've just sharpened it. You do need a sharp knife. Okay. Now, if you look in here, you'll see that's the spine. Okay, now you've killed a fish, you don't want to waste anything, so you go nice and slow, nice and easy, nice and smooth, 
and make sure you get as much meat as possible, as little waste as possible. Mm -hmm. So, then you just literally run the tip of the knife. This is a nice, heavy, solid knife, not one of those thin filleting knives. I prefer this. Okay, just run it along like that. This is the sound. Unzip the flesh, basically. And just work your way down and through. Okay. Now it's a bit trickier around the belly, okay? So what I tend to do is I'll feed my knife in there behind the ribs, okay? Just nice and gentle, nice and slow. Take your time, okay? You can do it quick if you want, but you'll leave more flesh on the carcass. No point in that, why waste it? Now there is your fillet. Now look here, no waste. A little bit of flesh left here, you can't get that out, okay? Nothing, okay? Now, next thing to do, turn it over and repeat the process. Your second half is always a bit more tricky, but what you wanna do is get it over the edge of your chopping board, okay? and then that stays flat, it's a lot easier. What you want to do is have a feel along here, okay, because sometimes you'll still have a bit of a bone in there, a pin bone. Right, here's, can I find one? Could be one. I've got two things, I've got tweezers, or I've got pliers, okay. You can pull them at this one. So get down, get there, and pull those Maybe it's not, maybe there isn't one in there. There you go, grip it and just pull it out. I don't know if you can see that little pin bone there. Okay, take them out. It's enough worse than biting into a bit of fish and having a bone. On there. Again, you can get these off Amazon. It's not difficult. That's it. Now you can, if you want, just trim it up, make it look a bit nicer, a bit neater. Okay. That is one beautiful bass fillet. So here we go. That's the end result, the two fillets. Okay. And that's the state of the carcass. So there's minuscule amounts of flesh left on that. There's a little piece there I could take off. The other side is great too. If you have got any bits left over, because you're still learning, you're not very good, what have you, okay, you can still just take them off, okay. Excellent for sashimi, excellent for ceviche. So if you want to go Japanese or South American, you can. Ceviche, I absolutely adore. That's with lemon juice, lime juice, orange juice if you want as well. That cures the fish kind of cooks it without heat. Uh, sushi with obviously your, your ginger or your wasabi or your soy, just just delicious. So it doesn't go to waste. But that's not what we're doing today. We are going to cook these two nice fillets. Just look at that beautiful creamy white flesh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 